My name is Jeremy Arnold and this is my story. I am one of 13 siblings. My mother was um, five months pregnant with the 10th child at that time when she was taken into a premature labor. She was taken to the hospital where she met the doctors who knew her well. She would have been there every year given the age range that we have. Upon reaching the hospital, the doctors realized that she was about to give birth. Uh, she was only five months pregnant and uh, the doctors delivered the five-month-old fetus and threw it in the garbage can. Because at that time, uh, technology wasn't at a place where it is now currently. The doctors, they wouldn't seek to waste, waste time and energy uh, on something that have no life. And uh, my mother was then discharged from the hospital. She was sent, she was sent home to attend to her nine other kids. Now bear in mind it was her alone. Uh, our father was not there, he was absent and uh, they discharged her from the hospital and she would return back to the garbage can where she looked and she found her fetus, her baby and she took a rug from her pocket and she picked up her baby, put it in the rug and put it in her pocket and she went home. Uh, upon reaching home, greeted by nine hungry kids. She took the dress that she had on off and she placed it in a tub of water that was there. She went inside, she attended to everybody, and somebody asked, Mommy, what about the baby? And then she remembered that the baby is in the rag, but the rag is in the pocket of the dress, and the dress is in the tub of water. And she ran outside, searched among the clothes in the water, and she found there her baby still alive. And she said she heard a voice saying, go and stand with it out in the sun. Eight days after, however, the fetus took very ill and she had to take the fetus right back to the hospital. And the doctor was amazed that after eight days, the fetus is still alive. And they discovered that the fetus blood was poisoned and the fetus was in need of a blood transfusion. However, they told my mother that um, there is no blood in the blood bank. They had only one blood and it is the blood of a white man that was not yet screened. My mother with the faith that she has and, uh, and the courage that she has, she said, give it to him, that's the blood that belongs to him. Trying to appease this lady, the doctors knew well that this is a hopeless case, but to, to get rid of this lady, they did the blood transfusion. And after they would have finished, they finished about 11.30 the night. The doctors went to my mother and said, you could go home because at midnight, half an hour from this time, that fetus will die. Because we did not follow protocol. We did not do what was necessary to be done for this to have been a success. One hour, however, after midnight, when they went to check upon the fetus, my mother told me from down the hall, they could have heard a heart beating very loud and it was the heart of the fetus. One year later, the fetus was still alive, but the fetus was very ill. So my mother had to take the fetus back to the hospital where she met there the same doctor and the same staff. Now somebody might ask, why didn't she go to another hospital? Well, the truth is she was extremely poor and she couldn't afford going to another hospital. But more than that, at hindsight now, I see that it was God working for the life of the fetus. And God would have this doctor and these staff to witness the miracle working power of him. The doctor then was amazed that after one year, the fetus is still alive. At this time, you would think that the doctor would recognize that there is a supernatural power working behind the scenes. But the doctor looked at my mother and said, don't get too attached. At the age of two, he will be totally crippled. At the age of three, he will be totally blind. At the age of four, he will be a complete retard. And at the age of five, he will die. I want to say that man can appoint, but God ultimately disappoint. At the age of six, the fetus went into primary school, not with a cane, 
because he wasn't blind. Not in a wheelchair because he wasn't crippled. And he wasn't placed in a special section because he wasn't a retard. As a matter of fact, the fetus aced every subject in primary school, went on to high school and to junior college. And I want to tell you that that fetus happens to be me today. Currently, I am in Jamaica studying at the Northern Caribbean University. Maybe you might have been rejected or thrown in a can like I was. But I want you to know that all is not lost. That God is behind the scenes of your life fighting for you. You want me to bridge that? <laughs>